Bitcoin uh, was born out of the last significant financial crisis or the great financial crisis in 2008 and 9. And I think this one is, it's in the process of defining Bitcoin of global digital collateral. Now that's the current state. This recession is going to be great for things like gold and long bonds. And the thing is, is Bitcoin in there? I think it's hitting that, but it's just hard to say for sure. Then I think Bitcoin will outperform virtually all cryptos, including Ethereum. And that's been the case so far this year. It's the existing trend. And I think it's going to more like the accelerates. Bankarska kriza određuje vrednost Bitcoina za naredni bull market kriptovaluta, u kojoj će Bitcoin verovatno nadmašiti svu ostalu kriptoimovinu, kaže analitičar Bloomberga Mike McGlown. Mike McGlown ima preko 25 godina iskustva u trgovinu futuresima, robom i investiranju. Pogledajte ovaj video do kraja i saznajte njegov pogled na to kako ova kriza utiče na Bitcoin, da li je Bitcoin zaštita od inflacije i da li će Bitcoin nadmašiti Ethereum i druge kriptovalute u ovom bull marketu. Ukoliko želite da uđete u svet kriptotrgovanja i investiranja, jedna od menjačnica koju tim naša akademija često koristi jeste Prime XBT, kako biste ostvarili popust prilikom otvaranja naloga, kao i mnoge druge beneficije, proverite linkove u opisu ovog videa i postanite jedan od preko milion registrovanih korisnika na ovoj platformi. You said that the current banking crisis is defining the value of Bitcoin. Can you explain exactly what you meant by that? So the Bitcoin uh, was born out of the last significant financial crisis or the great financial crisis in 2008 and 9. And I think this one is, it's in the process of defining Bitcoin of global digital collateral. Now that's the current state. And I think what's happening is we're seeing a significant rally in this Bitcoin this year, up to about 73%. Obviously it was too, too oversold last year, but partly because people are realizing that it's becoming more like gold and U.S. Treasury bonds, but just a higher beta version of gold. Um, and it's getting the, uh, gaining accolades as um, maybe not as so much a store of value yet, but as a global digital collateral in a world that's going digital. So this financial crisis is quite significant. It's defining, and I think people are realizing the thing about Bitcoin, it's no one's project and no one's liability, and it's completely independent like gold. The thing is, it has that definable, the finished diminishing supply, and it's so low as far as adoption in so early days and this seems to be the trigger the banking crisis i think when people realize oh my money may not be so safe in a fractional reserve banking system and might be safer in a fully collateralized um stable coin or crypto dollar it seems to be hitting that inflection point that i've been looking for a while and just kind of you know, here in the headlights watching wow is it really finally happening there used to be a narrative uh, that's defined bitcoin as a uh, hedge against inflation. Would you say that now this narrative uh, has transitioned into Bitcoin as a hedge uh, against banking risks? I, I think it's going there because um, I never believed in the hedge against inflation because that's so long term. Bitcoin needs to be around for, I think, decades before that happens. It's still just a baby. It's just evolving. It's so early days. It's such a small portion of global portfolios. Um, but as far as a potential hedge against banking issues, yeah, I mean, it's coming up there like with gold and, and, um, and treasury bonds. Now, it's just a high beta, high risk version, but I think it's people are realizing, well, I really probably have to have some of this, particularly if I'm looking to get away from risk assets like a stock market. This Bitcoin stuff is, if the stock market, if risk assets do recover, it's probably going to outperform. Everybody is waiting for the moment when the next uh, crypto bull market will kick off. Uh, so has this banking crisis accelerated this perspective or it has made it far further away? What is your view on, on this? Yeah, I think the answer is yes, it's kicking off the next bull run, but it's very much subject to the ebbing tide of the stock market. I'm, we're talking right now with the S&P 500 around 4,000. I fully expect to go to 3,000 in a recession, a normal recession, which is predicted the highest probability in, since 1982 from the yield curve. Um, and that's going to be a pressure factor in Bitcoin. But potentially we're hitting that inflection now where this recession is going to be great for things like gold and long bonds. And the thing is, is Bitcoin in there? I think it's hitting that, but it's just hard to say for sure. 
Um, but I think the more the Bitcoin can sustain above 25,000, the more the S&P 500 potentially pressures below 4,000, you can have an indication that um, Bitcoin is just going to take off. And we have to get the view on the crypto dollar, so the stable coins, uh, dollar backed stable coins. What we saw is that a very respected uh, stable coin, USDC, had uh, a significant amount of their reserves in a bank that was a uh, the Silicon Valley Bank, it collapsed and it lost its, its bag for, for a little while. So that kind of showed uh, how these crypto dollars can also be very vulnerable to this sort of crisis. What is your, what is your view on that? Um, it's fine. It's a unique that the problem with the new, the fintech and the new technology was the old guard technology that it's deposited in the bank. And that's the extent that it dropped um, because of the potential that this, its bank deposit, of which was fractionally reserved, was not safe. So the, what it's proving is these fully collateralized crypto dollars potentially are much safer than banks. There's no FDIC insurance needed. It needs obviously needs regulation. That's just a matter of time. It's how the U.S. regulates it that's going to matter. But it's happening offshore. Things like we've seen a major move away from USDC back towards Tether. Tether is the biggest one, it's controversial, but I've been just following Tether since it was around two billion back in 2018, and it just keeps going up with bumps in the road. Why? Because I think it's like what's happening with what happened with Euro dollars about five decades ago when entities needed access to the dollar away from the US banking system, they did it in banks outside the US and created Euro dollar system. This is happening in crypto dollars, it's happening fast. The technology is overwhelming. We know that now uh, Ethereum is going to um, turn fully, fully proof of stake by allowing uh, de-staking. So uh, with the uh, Shanghai upgrade, what do you think is Ethereum going to outperform Bitcoin this year? So it hasn't been. I think we're at the stage now that Bitcoin is going to outperform virtually all crypto assets. If my base case of a severe global economic reset to recession is hands out. That's my base case, and I think Bitcoin will continue out perform. And I see Ethereum right now stuck between 1,000 and 2,000. Now it's at 1,700. 2,000 is very good resistance. It is the base layer for tokenization, crypto dollars, and things like that. But now we're in that stage where I think um, if I'm correct, the stock market goes closer to 3,000 S&P 500, and gold and, and treasury bonds outperform in this significant recession in the U.S., then I think Bitcoin will outperform virtually all cryptos, including Ethereum. That's been the case so far this year. It's the existing trend, and I think it's been more like the accelerate. So we have to get through this bump in the road, and I think the bottom line to remember, from my standpoint as a strategist, um, it's my duty to warn people when I see a hurricane coming. I see a hurricane coming economically, um, and that's just based on what you see. We spoke about early, and it's central banks tightening, despite a bank crisis, and despite forward-looking deflationary forces, Bitcoin will probably be the best performer among the uh, cryptos, including Ethereum.